Hello, my babies. I am back. Now, if y'all watched my Timu haul, then you'll see that I had this turtle mole on there. Now, let me tell y'all something. I dusted and put me some colors in there and UV and all that. I didn't like the doggone colors, y'all. Cleaned it up. <laughs> Second round. Okay. So, for the diver and the ship, I'm going to be going around the edges with black, okay? But first, I want to dust it. And I'm going to be dusting with the multiple of colors. They're all by less resin. This one is spring green, okay? This one is chestnut. Because you know a sea turtle has a lot of colors in it, don't it? I'm going with seashell. And I'm going with chocolate. All right, and I'm gonna take my brush. I'm gonna show y'all, and then I'm gonna fast. I'm gonna put it on fast, cause baby, y'all get tired of watching me, wouldn't you? I'm gonna take some of the brown, okay? And you don't want a whole bump and glop. And I'm just gonna do like this, make spots, okay? Just make spots in your mold. Doesn't matter if it's extra. If you have excess mica on there, it don't matter, babe, because you're gonna want to do your sides, okay? So just keep going, making your dots with this color, okay? Then I'm gonna go in. Now I'm not done, but I just want to show y'all what I'm gonna do. Then go in with the green, okay? And then make you some more dots. Put them everywhere. And then you go in with your next color and make your dots. Alright? And then once I get the dots made, I'll come back and show y'all what I'm going to do next. Okay? See, it's just dotted all in there. Okay, take your seashell, get you a good bit on your brush. Get a good bit, okay? Then you wanna go in and just dust. Just start dusting, blending it in all together. Now keep going in, getting your seashell, okay? All right. Once you get your mold covered, wherever you want it covered, then you want to hold it on its side and dust your sides, okay? Just take your excess and dust the sides of your mold. Like, hold it up like this on its side and dust these edges like this. Let me see if I can do it. Just pull it up on your edges like that. See there? And all those colors will come up on your edges. See? And then, once you get your edges covered, you just give it a blow. All right? All right. All right. Got it all dusted up. Now, look at those colors. Look at those colors. Oh. And every one of them is on there. Ain't that beautiful? That's beautiful, is it not? Okay, now what you want to do, take a baby wipe and just go in here and clean your middle. Because where you blowed your mica off, it's going to go in there. Now, it don't have to be perfect. It does not. Matter of fact, I want some of this color in that coral. I think that'd be beautiful in it. So, I'm not going to go down in the... Um, coral and try to get it out. I'm just going to leave it in there. Okay? Now you want to let it dry if your uh, baby wipes extra wet. Okay? Alrighty. Got it all dry. Now I changed the color of my coral from bronze to orange. And I'm going to be using the diamond, the uh, 
Diamond Dust Glitter UV. And the reason I changed it from the bronze is because this had bronze in it. And it was just about the same color. Okay. So, yeah. I, I didn't like it. Alright. So, I'm going to take this. And I'm just going to go right in my coral. Okay. Alright. That's the coral. Now I'm going to take uh, grass green in the glitter UV. And I'm going to do these uh, grass. I guess what it is. All right, I'm going to cure that, and I'll be right back. All right, I got my resin mixed up. I only mixed up two ounces because we're just going around this little edge, and that edge right there is very narrow. I don't want it going off up in here like a crazy thing. Now I'm going to be using less resin black mica. Of course I am because I love it. I'll tell you what kind of resin I'm using. J Diction. That's what I'm using. J Diction 1 to 1. That Miss Barb sent me. Thank you, Miss Barb. I'm going to spray that. Okay. Then I'm going to give this a little spray. That's going to set your mica. And it's going to help with bubbles. Alright. That ought to be good enough. Alright, darlings, I'm going to put this on my heat mat, and we're going to see how this Resonier's um, mat stands up to heat, because it's supposed to be heat resistant, and um, I'll be back. Alright, babies, it is all cured up. Now then, here is the Less Resin Epoxy Resin. It is Turquoise Epoxy Resin. Ain't that going to be beautiful? Looks blue, though, on the camera. But it is like a little teal green. Okay. One to one. All right. So I'm going to mix up. It's still a pretty good piece to, to the top. So I'm going to mix up eight ounces. All right, baby dolls. And I'll be right back. I want to show y'all this color when I pour it in. I'm doing eight ounces so I've already done four of part B so this is part A we're gonna do four of that I weigh all my resin that way I won't have any left over there we go okay oh that's pretty oh that's pretty is it not pretty all right let me get my mess okay now then, let's stir it up and see what we got. All right, darlings, I got it mixed up. Now, I'm telling you, it's not that blue. It's like a turquoise. It's like green. That's that, loves. Almost eight. I've got probably a half an ounce left. All right, darlings. See ya in the morning. Sleep sweet. Good morning. All right, darlings. It is ready. Let's see what we got. And I'm going to tell y'all, I'm a little nervous about the outline of the turtle. I just hope that comes out good. But that turquoise, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And it was so great not to have to look for a mica powder or an alcohol ink. Just mix it up and pour it. Ain't that the truth? Honey, my affiliate link is in the description and my coupon code. Okay. So, 
go get you some of this turquoise. And they have white and they have black. Okay, y'all ready? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, my turtle turned out so pretty. Look at that turquoise. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, I really love it. And y'all, this is like 3D. It stands up out of the mold. I don't know. See that? Love it. I love it, darlings. I made some, uh, what you call These here things. I made some. Let's see what they look like. Now, I did some of them in just black. Now, that's a black. Now, this is a matte mold because it's, let me cut this light just a hair on because it's for uh, it's a fondant mold how pretty that's pretty and some of my colored oh yeah I put a little color on that cogwheels goodness oh look at that one oh look at that one guys oh I love that one look how old <laughs> oh, look at that cutie patootie. Look at that cutie patootie. Cute. And one more. I love these. Now, these came out good. No bubble holes. No bubble holes. And I want to thank you all for watching and uh, for your comments and your thumbs up and your shares. Y'all have been sharing. I appreciate it so much. Y'all are the best babies ever. Y'all really are. Let's get a prayer card, darling. And then we're going to do our prayers. If I can find my little prayer list. I wrote them all down, but I think I got it memorized. Continue prayers for Miss Christine, Miss Carol Answer Christ, Miss Lisa Provost, Miss, um, uh oh, Miss Trish Green. Miss Brenda Levi. Oh, and Miss Amy from Amy's Resin Corner. All right, darlings, let's just get one. Here we go. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord, your God, goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Deuteronomy 31, 6. Amen, darlings that great thank you jesus all right darlings i'm gonna let y'all go and i love y'all to pieces i want to thank my members i want to thank everyone that has sent me a paypal donation and um a blessing i do appreciate it most of all out of everything i appreciate the prayers that y'all uh send for everyone on the prayer list thank you so much that is very much appreciated. And I love y'all, darlings. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace, love, praise, and happiness, darlings. Bye.